Hi everybody, it's Tina from Happy Mail. And as you can see, you're seeing me. I learned how to do this on my laptop for my son the other night, so I thought I'll try it out. But first off, I need to start out with an apology to April D. She sent me a Happy Mail about two weeks ago. It had her sign in it for my sign contest. And I did the video, two videos that day. One for her coloring books that she sent me and then I decided to do her sign separate for some reason I didn't load the sign entry or I loaded and it didn't stay I don't know I remember making it because I even called my daughter to say where to go and she went on YouTube and she couldn't find it either and then I looked at my files where I put all the videos I make and it wasn't there so I don't know so this is what this video is. This. I am really, really, really sorry, April, that this happened. I am not like that. I always am very appreciative of what I've received. And you've been very generous to me. There's no words I can describe how nice you are to me. I'll start a little bit in, for people that haven't known. There's a site called Crafty Lori on YouTube and on Mondays she has a thing where you can grant a wish or wish for something and somebody can grant it for you. That's how I met April D. As I put a wish out for washi tape and she said she could grant it. I am not a big washi tape person. Never have. I've been crafting for years. I make a lot of cards and give them away. My son's girlfriend came over and she had this little container and I'm like what's in there? And she goes oh washi tape and I started putzing with it and I love it. I'm going to start using washi tape more often. So that's why I granted for, I asked for a wish of washi tape and April granted it. And within that little rain of thanking her and stuff, and I was watching her videos because I subscribed to her channel, and I've left little comments and about a pocket letter. I never did a pocket letter either. So she's a lot of firsts for me. I did a pocket letter. We did a lot pocket letter swap, which was gorgeous. And then she gave me some coloring books that I could not find at my local Dollar Tree. And if you go to her channel, you'll see where her little plaque says April D and it has pretty flowers. That's where I got the idea for the contest is from her sign because I'm like, I like that. I want one. And I wanted to do a contest because I noticed a lot of people do contests on YouTube. I do them on my, on my Happy Mail from the Heart Facebook site also. So I thought, I'll change it up a little bit. I did the sign. And this is her sign into my contest. She watched some videos of mine and she knew I like black and red. So ladies and gentlemen and YouTubers, this is April's. And it's just gorgeous. I love, love the black and red. She got some, if you look, just, there's some glitter on the flower also. And these flowers, a little heart here. It's just gorgeous. I love it, love it, love it. I tell you, you ladies out there that are coming, sending me these signs are just gorgeous. Your workmanship is awesome. I told my daughter Diamond, I said, yeah, the whole thing about this is so, I was going to show them every time I sign on the YouTube, a new one each week. And then I was like, I don't want to file them away. What am I going to do with them afterwards? I'm going to use them. They are not going to be filed away and they're not going to be thrown away. Because after I use them for a while, to show you on YouTube, I'm going to hang them up in my room, in my craft studio. I just haven't figured out where. I'm thinking, I don't like the where I have the T's and the hearts. I just don't like it. I keep looking at it going, nah, I don't like that. I need that jacket. And I'm thinking that's where I'm going to start a collage of all the signs I get made. After I show them for a while on YouTube, I'm going to hang them up there. Everybody go over and check out April D's channel. She is such a sweet person. Kind-hearted. Very giving person. She has three little boys. And you don't need to know a person one-on-one -on -one or meet a person to know they're a good person. You could tell when they're a mother. Her little boys come in and they interrupt her. and She's so soft-spoken to them. And they are in the videos. And you see their little hands. And I'm a grandma. And my little, my youngest, well, not my youngest anymore, my only grandson, 
he is a hugger and a kisser. Just an affectionate one. And when I see April's little guy do his hands, I think of Koda Bear. His name is Lakota. I call him Koda Bear. And he's always like, Nana, Nana, Nana. I'm a mother of three. So, you know, I'm a grandma of five. Oh, six. Because I just found out my, old, my oldest son, Tim, will be a father sometime next year. So, again. So, I'm going to be a grandma again. Yeah! It's hard to believe that I have I have two biological and Tim is my foster child that my daughter has four children and my son Tim has one and one on the way so far my youngest son Xavier hasn't blessed me with grandchildren he did bless me with a cat he told me that's his child so <laughs> I'm rambling sorry it's very quiet in my house today because my husband's at work and my grandchildren are here so back to what I came on here. See, I can ramble on and on and on. So sorry. <laughs> I uh I am so sorry, April, so sorry. But here it is again, everybody. April sign. Go to her channel. Her name is April D. And give her a thumbs up and subscribe to her channel. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you everybody for watching. Again, April, I'm really sorry. Bye.